There are now 244,000 cases of coronavirus. Scrambling to keep up with demand. Panic buying empties many shelves. More than 3 million Americans filed for unemployment. The biggest drop we've seen since that crash in 1987. Medical workers are facing shortages. <laughs> this is my new normal. New cases and deaths. Sorry. And more than 2,000 homes. To That's just one of 13 acts. Money short. Listen, right? And alchemy. In the greatest demonstration of power and authority that the world has ever seen, Jesus Christ rose from the dead. He did something no one else has ever done. He walked out of the grave. In doing so, he demonstrated that he held the keys to death and that he could open its doors at will. The extraordinarily good news is that Jesus not only defeated death for himself, he defeated death for us too. I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he may die, he shall live, John 11, 25. Because I live, you will live also, John 14, 19. The resurrection of Jesus Christ is not an isolated event that occurred 2,000 years ago in a distant land. It is good news here and now. He is alive, and because He lives, we live too. Jesus is alive. His victory is our victory. His resurrection provides pardon for our sins, purpose in life, and power to truly live. That's really good news.